Dermoid sinus, or DS as it's also known, is a condition that can affect any breed of dog, but the Ridgeback seems to be more predisposed than most to this condition. At Rescue, we've decided to try and raise awareness and make sure that breeders and owners alike understand what the condition is and how to detect it. So who better to tell us more than our very own patron, Julian Norton, the Yorkshire Vet. Let's go inside and see what Julian can show us. Hi, I'm Julian Norton, uh, a vet, and this is my practice, one of my practices, Sandback Veterinary Centre, uh, and this is Coda, who, as you can see, is a uh, Rhodesian Ridgeback, impeccably behaved, sitting right on cue. Um, you're a good boy, eh, Coda? Yes, you are. Um, and I'm going to talk a little bit today about uh, a condition that Ridgebacks can get called dermoid sinus. Uh, it's quite a, an unusual condition, we only really see it in Ridgebacks, it can be um, prevalent in other, other dogs, but it's predominantly uh, Rhodesian Ridgebacks and it's quite a nasty condition. Um, it's characterised by a sinus or a, a tract through the, through the dermis, um, it goes through the skin uh, and it can go all the way down to the spinal cord. Uh, and it can be anywhere from the top of the head all the way down to um, the bottom of the bottom of the, the back. It can sometimes be seen along the tail as well. Uh, so dermoid sinus is a it's a tract of tissue. It can range in depth from being quite superficial to being really deep. Uh, as I say, it can connect to the spinal cord, and cases like that are really uh, serious. So it's important to check um, your dog to see if one of these is present. There's obviously a big implication from a breeding point of view. Um, but if, if they are there then we need to know, sometimes it can be removed, um, but detection is, is key really. So the way to do that um, is get your dog um, perfectly still like this and, and you literally feel all the way right from the top of the head um, down through the skin feeling and manipulating and wiggling um, to see if there's any kind of trap. It feels like a cord, like a, a thick um, cord of tissue extending through the skin um, and you have to go like this really all the way along, not missing any bits. Typically down the middle, and it can be sometimes to one side or the other, but typically down the middle. Uh, and if you're not sure, it can help to shave the, uh, the hair off to get a closer look. Um, and yeah, if you're not sure, uh, again, see Vet if he knows about it or she knows about it. Uh, and there's loads of information online, uh, particularly available from the Rich Back Rescue um, Association. So. Uh, hopefully that will give you a bit of a clue about dermoid sinuses. Thank you for your help. I hope you found that helpful, it certainly was for us. And thank you very much to Julian for spending the time with us this morning. So just remember, when you check your dog, pull up the flesh and roll it between your fingers. Do the entire extent of the dog's body so that you don't miss that little noodle, which is perhaps the best way to describe a dermoid sinus, which will go from the skin all the way down into the flesh. If there is one, as you pull the skin up, it will create a little dimple in the top and that should be your biggest clue that there is actually a dermoid sinus there. We would never breed from a dog with a dermoid sinus, not even one who's been operated on. If you need further information, please contact us at Ridgeback Rescue and we're always pleased to help. 
We also have a really good blog with a lot more detail on the website and I'll put the link on for you at the end. Thanks for listening.